Howdy, Cowboys Nation. It's time to don your favorite jersey, grab your lucky snack, and settle into the comfiest spot on the couch, because we're about to embark on a thorough exploration of the latest and greatest happenings in America's team. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill sports update. It's a deep dive into the heart and soul of the Dallas Cowboys, complete with twists, turns, and a dash of good old Texas charm. So, before we delve into the gridiron drama, do us a solid, wrangle that subscribe button. Your subscription isn't just a mere click, it's a declaration to be part of our journey as we strive to reach the lofty milestone of 5,000 subscribers. Lasso that subscribe button, and let's kick off this football fiesta with gusto. Cowboys Nation it's time to huddle up for the latest scoop from America's team. Make sure you watch until the end, so you don't miss any of the exciting news. And hey, why not sign up to stay in the loop for everything coming out about the Cowboys? Now, let's dive into the action. First things first, let's talk about the sensational C.D. Lamb. While the Dallas Cowboys often ride the Dak Prescott wave, let's not forget the brilliance of Lamb that makes our offense one of the best in the NFL. Despite the narrow 22-20 loss to the Miami Dolphins, Lamb star continued to shine, and here's the juicy part, he's closing in on an epic NFL record held by none other than Tyreek Hill. As it stands, Lamb boasts a whopping 1,424 receiving yards and 101 rushing yards this season, putting him second all-time behind the versatile Tyreek Hill. Now, that's not just any company, it's the elite level of NFL greatness. Lamb's ability to impact the game both through the air and on the ground is nothing short of special, it's elite. In the Week 16 showdown, Lamb showcased his skills, reeling in six catches for 118 yards and a touchdown. That marked his seventh game with 100-plus yards receiving this season. While he's chasing down the league leader, the dynamic Tyreek Hill, who sits at 1,641 yards, Lamb's contribution to the Cowboys' success cannot be overstated. Last season, Lamb put up just over 1,300 yards, including nine touchdowns. But 2023 is proving to be a career year for him, emerging as Dak's most reliable target. As the Cowboys gear up for the playoffs and in a Super Bowl run, Lamb's performance is a key factor in their success. Don't miss the action. Subscribe in our channel. Your subscription is very important for us. Help us to grow up and reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers. The question on everyone's mind, will Lamb reach or surpass Hill's record from 2018? While the numbers are intriguing, what matters most is Lamb's significant role in the Cowboys' journey. With a couple of games left on the schedule, the excitement is building. Buckle up, Cowboys Nation, C.D. Lamb is on a record-breaking spree, and we're here for every thrilling moment. Cowboys Faithful It's time to unravel the tale of a Christmas not-so-merry for America's team. In a nail-biter against the Miami Dolphins, the echoes of Dallas Cowboys history came knocking again, and it wasn't the holiday cheer they were bringing. Buckle up as we dissect the highs, lows, and the ghost of a former Cowboy haunting the scene. In a heart-wrenching 22-20 loss, the Cowboys found themselves tangled in a web of missed opportunities. The defense, holding strong against the league's most explosive offense, allowed only one touchdown. However, the offense failed to rise to the occasion. An opening drive fumble set the tone for an afternoon filled with strange penalties, an uninspiring offensive display, and, unfortunately, another road loss. Dak Prescott showcased his prowess, and star receiver C.D. Lamb continued his stellar season with 118 yards and a touchdown on six catches. However, the shadows loomed over others. Running back Tony Pollard's leftward run fell agonizingly short of the goal line, seemingly breaking the laws of physics. Meanwhile, the receiving duo of Michael Gallup and Brandon Cooks clocked in 62 snaps on passing plays, but contributed only four catches for 18 yards and a touchdown. Enter the ghost of Christmas past, former Cowboys receiver Amari Cooper. Traded to the Cleveland Browns in the spring of 2021, Cooper had a Christmas Eve for the ages. 
Facing the Houston Texans, he set the single-game Browns receiving record with 11 catches for 265 yards and two scores. A performance that won't be forgotten anytime soon by Cleveland fans or Cooper's fantasy managers. Cooper's brilliance highlighted a questionable move by the Cowboys, trading him away for a fifth-round pick and a swap of sixth-rounders. At just 29 years old, Cooper boasts 72 catches, 1,250 yards, and five scores this season. In contrast, Gallup and Cooks together have 77 catches for 976 yards and eight touchdowns. Glowing star don't miss the drama. Subscribe in our channel. Your subscription is very important for us. Help us to grow up and reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers. With a 10-5 record, the Cowboys now face two weeks to reaffirm themselves as legitimate contenders before the NFC playoffs kick in. Imperfections, like the Cooper deal, have a way of haunting teams, especially when Super Bowl aspirations are on the line. As the Dallas Cowboys navigate their flaws and aim for playoff glory, the lessons from this Christmas Day clash will undoubtedly shape their journey. Cowboys fans it's time to dive into the aftermath of a challenging showdown for Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys in Week 16 of the 2023 NFL season. Facing off against Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins, the Cowboys aimed to secure the second seed in the NFC but fell short in a 22-20 loss on Christmas Eve. Let's unravel the drama that unfolded, including Parsons' scathing remarks and a risky message to the NFL. In the midst of questionable officiating, one notable incident was a roughing the passer flag on Micah Parsons. Additionally, there were several missed holding calls on the Star Cowboys player during the game, prompting Parsons to express his frustration after the Monday showdown. Taking to Instagram, Parsons made a heartfelt plea to NFL referees, urging them to reconsider their calls. Glowing Star Hold On Tight, Cowboys Nation Subscribe in our channel, your subscription is very important for us. Help us to grow up and reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers. Parsons, who contributed seven total tackles and was credited for half a sack in the game, couldn't hold back his thoughts. It's mind-blowing, the things that are getting called and the positions that we get put in, he shared with the media. Despite acknowledging the adversity, Parsons emphasized the need to fight through it, acknowledging the challenges that come with wearing the star on the Cowboys' helmet. Regarding the controversial roughing the passer call, Parsons revealed that the refs told him he intended to punish Tago Vailoa, a claim he vehemently disagreed with. He asserted that his sole intent was to sack the Dolphins' signal caller, emphasizing the clean nature of his play. As the Cowboys gear up for Week 17 and a crucial matchup against the Detroit Lions, Parsons' plea for fair play resonates. The Lions, fresh off their first division championship in 30 years, present another formidable challenge for Parsons and the Cowboys. How the NFL responds to Parsons' bold message on Instagram remains to be seen, with potential consequences looming in the form of fines. Micah Parsons' message echoes the sentiments of Cowboys fans who were left disgruntled by the officiating in the game against the Dolphins. As the playoffs draw near, the Cowboys will need to overcome challenges on and off the field, solidifying their resolve for a Super Bowl run. 